The purpose for this video today is to help you get set up to complete a task explaining the relationship between two unlikely events, Brown versus the Board of Education and the changing of the Georgia state flag in 1956. The first thing that you're going to do is on your piece of paper set up uh, two column notes and your column headings are going to be observations and then questions that I still have. For this task, you are going to read through five articles to make some observations and take some notes related to Brown versus the Board of Education, Georgia's response to Brown versus the Board of Education, and the history of our state flag. The, on the screen, you'll see where there are some suggestions of questions that you're going to want to answer as you read. These are the things that you're going to look for in your observations. So the first thing that you'll want to do in order to explain the relationship between these two events is to explain two ways that the reaction of Georgia officials to the 1954 Brown versus the Board of Education decision impacted schools in Georgia. The first thing that you need to know is, of course, the court case of Brown versus the Board of Education. This is where you'll start taking your notes. The first website that you're going to visit is the U.S. Courts website, and this is a government website. And when you click on the link, you will see that the article, even though it says history of Brown versus the Board of Education, it starts with the Plessy decision. So think back to the New South unit, Plessy versus Ferguson. As you scroll down the page, you'll see the road to Brown. Those are, these are all the court cases that led up to Brown versus the Board of Education. This is where you may want to start in order to read for detail and analyze this article to determine what is Brown versus the Board of Education, and what was the decision, and how did it impact, and which groups did it impact the most. After you've done that, we start narrowing our focus and we're going to look specifically at Georgia. The next two articles come from the Georgia Encyclopedia and they are the Minister's Manifesto and the Sibley Commission. And if you are using the suggested questions on the two column notes, you'll just click the links and then again, you'll read to respond to those questions. Don't stop at that point. I want you to read the entire article because you're going to pick up on a lot of information that I may not have picked up on and that will add to your response. So you'll scroll down and you'll see that everything in here is related to this same time period that we're looking at. And then one of our terms that is part of our standard is the Sibley Commission, and you already have some background knowledge on, uh, on each of these items, Brown versus the Board of Education, the Sibley Commission, and the changing of the state flag. This information and this task is going to require you to look a little bit closer and for a little bit more detail. The Sibley Commission is going to be used, um, this article will be used twice for this task, once to determine Georgia's reaction to um, Brown versus the Board of Education. And then you're going to use this same article, but looking at it from a different perspective as far as how did it impact schools? How did the Sibley Commission impact the schools in Georgia? So you're going to be doing a close read for both of those pieces of information. After you've looked at Georgia's feelings, we're going to look at the impact of the schools. and. In addition to looking at the response from the Sibley Commission, you're also going to look at higher education. How did this impact not just elementary schools and high schools, but how did it impact colleges as well? So now we get to the point of our task. So what's with the flag change? Can a flag be a symbol of protest? In order to find out, we're going to look at the history of our flag. And for this, we're going to visit the New Georgia Encyclopedia again and look at all of the state flags of Georgia. Now, we're looking specifically at 1956, but you will want to trace our history from the beginning all the way up to the present to determine 
what have our flags looked like? Why have they been changed in the past? And what was the big deal about changing it in 1956? So there's a, a heading, um, a section that's dedicated just to this. So you'll want, this is where you'll want to pay close attention and uh, read for detail. After you've completed your two column notes, you'll want to use that information and then write down any questions that you still have uh, based on this subject. The task is for you to explain the relationship between the Brown decision and the 1956 Georgia flag. Before you complete the task, if you have any questions, you'll need to have them written down and be prepared to ask them in class or comment on Google Classroom.